So with this type of problem where you have a force um, and you have some work that's done, you can either use Newton's second law, force equals mass times acceleration, and use all the stuff that you've learned before, or you can also use the work energy theorem. And the work energy theorem tells us that the change in kinetic energy equals the net work done. And so the positive work minus the negative work will equal the change in kinetic energy. And kinetic energy is 1 half mv squared. So when we start, the, the sled is at rest, because it says starting at rest. And so our initial kinetic energy, so our initial kinetic energy is 1 half m times 0 squared, so our initial kinetic energy is 0, and our final kinetic energy is 1 half m times our final velocity squared, or 1 half, and the mass of our sled is 20, and the final velocity is 1.8 squared, so this is kilograms times meter squared per second squared, which is going to be a joule. So we just need to get uh, 0.5 times 20 times 1.8 squared. 0.5 times 20 times 1.8 squared is 32.4 joules. So, um, so that, the change in kinetic energy, is 32.4 minus 0, so the change in kinetic energy is 32.4, and that has to equal the net work done. So we have two things that are doing work. We have the force that's applied, and we have friction. So the force that's applied, we know what it is. It is 21 newtons. So the force applied is 21 newtons, and it's in the direction of motion, so it does a positive work, and the work is the force times the distance, so it's 21 newtons times the distance is, we don't know the distance. Uh, so maybe we do have to do a little bit of kinematics to figure that out. Um, oh, it's 8.8 .8 meters, not 8.8 .8 seconds. Oh, 8.8 .8 meters. So we do have this. So 8.8 .8 meters. So that's... One... 84.8, so 184.8 joules of work that are done by the applied force. And so the, um, the network will equal the work done by the applied force minus the work done by friction. We know the network, we found that out, was 32.4 joules. We know the applied force was 184.8 joules minus the work from friction, or the work from friction is 184.8 minus 32.4. Wait, that's not right. Yeah, that's right. One fifty two point four. So that means that um, the friction work, so the work from friction equals the force from friction. times the distance, and so the uh, 
152.4 equals the frictional force times 8.8 .8 meters, or the frictional force is 152.4 divided by 8.8. .8. which is 17.32 newtons. The problem asks for the coefficient of kinetic friction. So here's where we have to use our free body diagram, which we had on our applied force. We had the force due to friction. We had mg, and we had the normal force. And since there's no motion or acceleration in the vertical direction, the normal force has to equal the, for, the uh, force due to gravity. And so our normal force is the mass of the sled, which is 20 kilograms, times the acceleration due to gravity, which is 9.8 meters per second squared, or... 196 newtons. So that's the normal force. And we know that the force due to friction is the coefficient of friction times the normal force. So we have 17.32 is the frictional force has to equal the coefficient of friction times the normal force, which is 196 or the coefficient of friction is 17.32 divided by 196 is 0.088, which seems awfully small, but it is a sled on snow, so it might actually be that small, 0.088367. So if you're still there, I'm going to wait and have you tell me whether or not this is right or not.